no, I've just really been struggling recently against fire enemies. Fire enemies? You just gotta know how to counter them. Really? How? Well, I can think of one way. I am not exactly sure how this helps. Ladies, gentlemen, and tarnished of all ages, we all know how important fashion is in Elden Ring. I mean, the main reason to even wear an armor set is to look good, but of course this is an RPG. Every item has statistics, and if you are willing to dive deep down into the numbers, you can find some really fun solutions to help tackle your problems. As a result, we will be taking a break from fashion today to talk about the eight statistically best armor sets in Elden Ring, as well as crowning one of them the best overall and also, of course, showing you where to get each one. If you're wondering how these rankings were worked out, quite simply, if you look at the stats of the armor pieces, they have a number in each category. If you add up the numbers of each piece of an armor set, that is that number for that set. While there is some variation, physical resistances can all be boiled down into one general category, really. Poise, of course, is a really big deal, but then there are also things like each individual elemental resistance to magic, fire, lightning, and holy. Things like immunity to protect from poison and scarlet rot, focus to prevent sleep and madness, vitality to prevent death blight, and of course the overall weight of the set to be taken into consideration as well. Not to mention some sets coming with passive bonuses on top of that. As a result, there are more than eight categories, but a number of these sets win more than one of the individual categories. So at the end of the day, these are the eight armor sets that are the best in Elden Ring for their specific purpose according to the numbers. Without further ado, firstly let's talk about physical physical damage, also including strike slash and pierce negation, of course. Generally speaking for this, the heavier that you get with your armor, the better that it will get, and that is very much the answer when we come to the Bull Goats armor set. This thing is in fact the heaviest set in the entire game, but don't worry, we will give you a lighter alternative afterwards. This one easily earns its spot, however, as it boasts the highest physical resistance of any armor set in the game by a good margin. The highest poise also by quite a distance at 100, yes, it hits triple digit poise as well, it also happens to have the highest lightning resistance of any armor set, so that is a pretty neat bonus on top of it. It scores highly in most other categories as well, but those are its main points of contention. To get this armor for yourself, you will need to progress the Patches quest line. First head to the Murkwater Cave in Limgrave and meet him for the first time, after which he will move to Volcano Manor. Once in Volcano Manor, talk to him to be given an assassination quest just like the others in the manor. This will place a nice, accurate marker on your map inside of the Magma Worm Site of Grace, where there will be a summon sign on the floor. Complete the assassination and return to Patches to receive this set for yourself. Secondly, still on the physical train, but a lighter option in weight that is still entirely exceptional, the Lionel set. It actually has more slash and pierce resistance specifically than the Bull Goat set, but less strike resistance and also just less overall physical damage negation. So as a result, the overall effect is that it is a bit weaker even against those damage types than Bull Goat. However, the full set is 50.7 weight as opposed to 63 on the Bull Goat set, so it is a nice middle ground option comparatively. As as well, the Lionel set actually wins the robustness category over all the other armor sets, which increases your resistance to both the bleed status and frostbite, making it even better in those situations. I love the concept of the robustness stat, by the way. Like, someone genuinely had to sit there and think, how do I find a way to label a statistic that makes you resistant to bleed and frost? Ah, thick! To acquire this set for yourself in Lane Dell, the capital city, head to the lower capital church site of grace and literally two feet away on a bed will be this armor waiting to be claimed. Third up and moving on towards the more elemental side of the spectrum, we have the Lusat armor set. The bulbous sphere headed mage armor comes with 32.4 magic damage negation, which is the highest magic damage negation in the entire game, as well as the highest vitality stat in the whole game, which only protects you against death blight, but yeah, it's nice to know as well, right? It weighs extremely little as it is a sorcerer set, however, if you do use this, I do highly recommend switching out of the helmet for pretty much any other helmet in the game, preferably one that has a nice passive that fits your personal build, as helmets seem to hold all the nice passives. The reason for this is that the helmet of this raises the cost of all FP usage by 15% in return for buffing the damage of the Stars of Rune Sorcery by 15%. Essentially, this passive is arguably not 
even worth it if the spell that it affects is your only source of damage output. 15% for 15% just isn't great, especially when the 15% damage only affects one spell, and the 15% more mana usage affects every spell, weapon skill, and even summons. So yeah, the armor set as a whole is incredible statistically, but the helmet does need replacing due to the passive. If you want the set, you'll have to complete the Sorceress Selen questline that we have covered already on the channel. Check out the video down below if you need help with that. But once you have finished her questline and assisted with the summon sign in Rhea Lucaria Academy, you can return to the place where you found Lusat's body in the Celia Hideaway cave area to find his armor set waiting for you there. Fourth up, moving on to the fire damage resistance, and oh, this is a fun one. The Fire Prelate Armor. It's fun for multiple reasons. The first being that while this set weighs 58.8 units, I guess we'll call it, making it the second heaviest in the entire game, it also does actually boast the second highest physical negation in the game, as well as being tied for second in poise, which is just a nice cherry on top to having insane fire resistance. Like, to put into perspective, this set as a whole has 43.5 fire resistance. The Lusat set, which had the most magic resistance of any set in the game, had 32.4. That essentially means that the fire resistance set is around 35% more effective at resisting fire than the magic one is at resisting magic. And this will continue for other elements, as this set is an absolute anomaly, having a number so high. On top of this, its general element resistances are all quite good, and it once again comes out on top for the focus stat, which raises your resistance to the sleep and madness statuses, giving it a unique crown in that niche as well. To acquire this one for yourself, you will need to farm the Fire Prelate enemies. This can be done in two places, either in Fort Laid by the Seathwater Terminus, site of Grace and Mount Gelmir, or over in the mountaintop of the Giants region right outside of Guardian's Garrison. The one at Fort Laid only drops the altered version of the chest piece, so which of these you focus to get your set depends on whether you want the red cape involved or not. Fifth up today, we will round out the elemental list with a slight nod to the strongest holy damage negation armor set, which is the Godskin Noble Armor. This armor isn't great for many other reasons, however the full set is only 12.2 weight, and the holy negation is 31. So if you're looking for light weight and light resistance, then this is absolutely the right choice for you. To acquire it, you must defeat the Godskin Noble enemy on the bridge to the Divine Tower of Liurnia, which you will reach as part of the Rani quest line, which again, we have a video on in the channel that you can find down below. Six up is one that's a little bit neat but surprisingly incredible, and that is the Spellblade armor set. What makes it so notable from the get-go is its insanely low weight, being the absolute lowest weight four-piece armor set in the whole game. It has practically no poise, and also very little physical damage negation, but it has a pretty good elemental protection, and it also has a neat little passive where each armor piece worn increases your damage with ice or magic weapon skills by 2%, for a total of 8% bonus damage while wearing the whole set. As a result, this one packs a lot of punch for its status as the lowest weight full set. To acquire it for yourself, simply wait for Rogier in the round table hold to die in the progression of the story, then pick it up yourself from where he previously sat. Seventh, then we have the Mushroom Armor set. This one is extremely particular as it fills the gap of being the unbelievably strongest set for the one stat that we have not yet covered, Immunity, which affects your resistance to both Poison Buildup and also the Scarlet Rot debuff. I am not joking when I say that this set is head and shoulders above the rest. In total, it has 245 immunity if you're using the crown, with the second highest set being the bull goat armor at 170. Yeah, that's a bit of a massive gap there, isn't it? It isn't great at any of the other purposes in the game, but it weighs quite little and of course is nichely perfect in its design scenario. The thing that I technically cheated on a touch though is the armor set realistically is just four pieces, but there's also a mushroom crown in the game, which is more of an unofficial set piece, as of course, it is also mushroom based and has incredibly high immunity. This one weighs quite a bit more than the regular mushroom helmet, but has two more immunity. Normally this may not be worth it because of the weight difference, but the mushroom crown in particular also has the passive effect of raising your damage whenever anything nearby is affected by poison or rot, which is actually really strong. 
strong if you build around it. To acquire this armor set for yourself, first head to the Seedwater Cave on the way up Mount Gelmir. It costs stone sword keys to enter, but once you do from the Site of Grace, head downwards and left, and then take another big drop downwards and follow the path ahead. Turn left in the big opening towards the entrance with light coming through, keep going forwards and once again drop further down. Progress through the dark area to the back right corner, then take a tight right turn to find a giant pink flower guarding the mushroom set on the floor. If you want the mushroom crown specifically to put into the set, that is instead in the Lake of Rot region from the Site of Grace head south with just a touch of east through the lake until you eventually reach some fallen over pillars. Climb up the back and carefully jump across to the big square. Then on a pillar within this structure is a corpse holding the crown just for you. Eighth, the final different armor set that I will be mentioning today is the Radon armor set. Just straight up the armor of General Radon, the boss. The main reason that this is here is it's just sort of a great all-rounder. Not quite the best overall armor set, that I'll go over afterwards, but this one is essentially the best lighter version, alternative of the best armor set to what that set will be. And by lighter armor, I mean this set still weighs 41.6 units, but for that 41.6 weight, you get a ton of value. It is on average the fourth or best set against physical damage, tied best for its specific amount of weight, tied fifth best magic resistance, fourth best fire resistance, tied for fifth best holy resistance, tied for the first in robustness stat with the Lionel armor, and also tied for sixth highest poise, again being at the top of its weight class. This set is legitimately in the top handful of every statistic except for lightning resistance, immunity, focus, and vitality, for which it is all average at the absolute worst. As a result, this armor is my choice for the best lighter armor in the game. Again, I say lighter because I'm about to round up the whole thing with my overall best choice, which unsurprisingly is going to be a bit of a heavy one. Surprise, surprise, the fire prelate armor. At 58.8 at weight, this thing is the second heaviest set in the game, but it genuinely earns that weight. I went over most of it earlier, but to summarize why this is my pick for the best overall armor set, second in weight, yeah, but also second in physical damage negation, tied fifth for magic resistance, unbelievably first place in fire resistance, first place in focus, and tied second place in poise. The other stats are pretty much all well above average as well, still top 10 in everything except for robustness and vitality, which are just sort of in the middle of the pile. So if you're in a fight where your enemy is using bleed, frost, or death blight, it is still above average because of the physical negation that they have to apply it with. But in any other situation, it is still absolutely exceptional, as even for its ridiculous weight, it has a ton of value. And with that, we have them all covered. I've been Cotton Dinosaur from Rage Gaming Videos, and these have been the eight statistically best armor sets in Elden Ring, along with my own crowning of the overall best based upon the same numbers. No, th this doesn't mean that you have to use these armor sets. Realistically, you can use whatever you want. But if you are someone seeking statistic perfection, if these are your goals, if you simply want to be fashionable, but choose your fashion from a pool of genuinely strong armor sets, these are what you are after. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye